Uh, welcome learners to Learners Coach once again. Now, we want to talk about the best civil engineering courses uh, together with their requirements. And of course, as always, I'm going to give you additional details uh, with respect to civil engineering, right? Uh, maybe what kind of paradigms or which paradigms exist within civil engineering? What are some of the job uh, jobs that are outside there? the salary to expect in case you graduate from this particular field and so on so where i'm going to get this information is from our authentic website that is learnerscoach.co.k uh, since i've already written this particular article allow me just to go through uh, the very main uh, concept about uh, civil engineering courses and uh, requirements right so in kenya we are actually faced with a lot of projects in terms of uh, building roads, uh, building houses, and that plays you in a good position to be able to do this particular uh, course. So that means jobs are available uh, for you. So in case you're wondering what uh, uh, civil engineers do, they design, they develop, I mean, they have a lot of work uh, to do. So when you talk about civil, uh, civil engineering courses, uh, these courses cuts across from craft courses, diploma courses, up to degree uh, level. Like for example, you can pursue a Bachelor of Engineering in, uh, in Civil Engineering, a Bachelor, I mean Bachelor of Education Technology in Civil Engineering, a Certificate in Civil Engineering, right? A diploma in Civil Engineering, right? So as you can see, uh, the main angle of our discussion is what are the respective civil engineering course requirements. So if you want to pursue a degree in civil engineering, you must have a mean grade of C plus in your KCSC, right? And of course, at least a C plus in maths, physics, chemistry, and either English or uh, Kiswahili you will be required to apply through COOP's uh, website for you to uh, be enrolled for this particular uh, course. Now, for a degree also, you are given another option, like a relevant diploma from accredited institution, and of course, with a mean grade of C+, right? So it's very, very important to look at these particular mean grades, right? So mathematics also will be required to score a C plus. A physics also will be required to score a C plus. A chemistry also will be required to score a C plus. And of course, uh, you'll also need some uh, biology and geography qualification. That is a uh, diploma uh, in civil engineering uh, requirement. And then we have a certificate right in civil engineering uh, requirements because uh, you realize that with certificate you don't need to have a c plus but you need to have what a d plus and of course you need to apply through cops right so you can do the same uh, for the craft certificate uh, remember for certificate in civil engineering you require what a d plus in your uh, case uh, KCSE. Uh, if you have a craft certificate, also you can proceed and pursue that, right? Now, the marketable fields, because it's very, very important as you pursue these particular courses, you need to uh, ask yourself, is this particular course marketable, right? Now, it's marketable because it has variety of uh, areas. We talk about disciplines or sub-disciplines within civil engineering uh, you can do coastal you can do ge geotechnical geotech transportation environmental all angles all areas require some civil engineer so you can see your work is already there they just need your qualification right so what are you likely to earn right because i know that is what you are always asking so a person working as a civil engineer here in Kenya will earn approximately 134,000 Kenya shillings, right? 
So this one also depends with your, of course, qualification, work experience, right? And the lowest paid engineer will earn approximately 69,700,000, right? And the highest we can earn up to 200,000 uh, shillings, right? So if you enjoy building houses, if you enjoy building roads, if you enjoy, I mean, that is your salary, right? So we have quite a number of uh, diploma in engineering courses that you can enroll in. As you can see, uh, these are, the list is quite long. So you can do diploma in civil engineering, diploma in building technology, a diploma in electrical engineering, right? A diploma in automotive engineering, diploma in mechanical, which is very, very uh, famous, mechanical engineering, diploma in telecommunication engineering, so these are just additional diplomas that you can pursue in uh, engineering field, not necessarily civil engineering, right? So you can see the list is quite long. You also have diploma in water engineering, diploma in water and sanitation, uh, diploma in medical engineering, right? So it's not about civil engineering alone. If you have certificate courses, you can pursue the following uh, if you have a certificate or you want to pursue certificate engineer in, in certificate in engineering <laughs> you can do a certificate in agriculture agricultural engineering certificate in automotive engineering right this also has quite a long list certificate in civil engineering like we are talking about civil engineering so we can see certificate in civil engineering falls under this Certificate in Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Certificate in Mechanical Engineering. Certificate in Vehicle uh, Engineering. So there are quite a number of certificates, right? Where are you going to pursue these courses? Because it's very, very important uh, to understand that you need to have an accredited a certificate. And to have an accredited certificate, you must enroll in accredited um, institutions which offers you accredited what? Uh, degrees or even diploma certificates, right? So in our list here, we have sampled some of accredited uh, universities that offers accredited degrees in engineering courses. Like... University of Nairobi offers the following engineering courses, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering, uh, Bachelor of Science in Electrical and Electronics Engineer, a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Biosystems Engineer, right? You go to more university, there are quite a number, I can't really uh, name them all, but you can see. And better still, I'll share the link within our description uh, so that you can click and uh, check more details within our website. You can also do the same uh, from JQuart, right? Uh, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture Technology. They also have these particular engineering courses which are accredited by the engineering board of kenya mechanical engineering bachelors civil engineering bachelors bachelor of science in, me in mechatronic engineering bachelor of science in marine engineering bachelor of science in mining right bachelor of science in aerospace engineering so there are quite a number of engineering opportunities from Egerton University, you can see they offer agricultural engineering, data Kimathi, you can see they offer mechanical engineering, mechatronic engineering, uh, Bachelor of Science Engineering. Kenyatta University also offers some engineering courses, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, electrical and electronic engineering, right? Uh, we also have uh, Technical University of Mombasa offering civil engineering. Remember, these are degree courses. Uh, 
We also have electrical and electronics engineering. For Machakos University, we have electrical and electronics engineering. Uh, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Meca Mechanical Engineering. Masinde Mulero University offers Mechanical and Industrial Engineering, Electrical and Communication Engineering, Civil and Structural. Multimedia University is known to offer Electrical and te Telecommunications Engineering, a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, right? Muranga offers Bachelor of Science in Electrical and Electronics engineer Engineering. That is Moranga University of Technology, right? Southern Eastern Kenya University offers uh, Mechanical Engineering, Bachelor of Sa Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Engineering. Strathmore University also offers Bachelor of Science in Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Lastly, I believe Technical University, not really last but not least, Technical University of Kenya. Uh, they also offer engineering courses in civil engineering, chemical engineering. Lastly, we have University of Eldoret, right? That offers agricultural, agriculture and bulk systems engineering, mechanical and production engineering. We also have civil and structural engineering. So you can see, lastly, I believe that should be the last, right? So what should you take home? So students who enroll in a, any degree course in any institution not accredited by the Engineering Board of Kenya might not be licensed to practice in the country. So I know some of you wonder, how comes we take time to bring for you this information? It's very, very important, all right? In a situation whereby you are going to graduate and they are not going to recognize your certificate because you didn't do it from a recognized or accredited institution, right? It will be very, very sad on your case. So uh, you need to enroll in these particular universities that you have mentioned for you to be on the safe side. So I hope this gives you some insight on the kind of uh, engineering courses that you need to pursue, um, also the civil engineering, right? And I hope you are going to gain from the courses that you pursue. Should you find this information useful, kindly uh, be part and parcel of, the of this particular community. All right, thanks.